So you're cold calling, cold emailing, cold DMing potential prospects, and you finally get somebody to book on your calendar. You set the appointment up for the next day, you do a little bit of legwork and research to get ready for your call, and then you jump on the Zoom link and they just don't show up. This happens to the best of them, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can triple your show up rate. The process of tripling your show up rates actually starts on the initial outreach. We're gonna take cold calling, for example. This is my entire cold calling script when I'm reaching out to clients. We're gonna ignore the first part. You guys can look over this if you want, but we're looking at line six at the bottom. When we end our cold call, we're gonna say this line and it's actually gonna help us increase our show up rates because it sets expectations for the call. So what we're gonna say is perfect. The purpose of our meeting is to discuss your top priorities, show you the website we built for you and continue the conversation if we agree there is alignment. If not, we can part ways. How does that sound? So we're basically telling them, hey, we're not gonna force something down your throat that you don't need. We're gonna see if it's a good fit for you. And if you don't like it or you don't like us, we can part ways and we're totally fine with that. This just lowers the prospect's guard and it just shows them, hey, we're cool with either outcome. If you wanna work with us, great. If not, we can part ways. The next part is the actual booking of the call. I've set up this calendar and go high level. One huge cheat code to note here for getting people to show up to these calls is booking same day appointments. If you're calling in the morning or if you're texting somebody or emailing someone in the morning and you can book a call for later that day or in the afternoon, your show up rates will be almost 100%. And even better than same day appointments are immediate appointments. If you're cold calling somebody and you get them on the phone and they're ready to go and check out the website you built for them right away, you can just text them the link right then and there and jump on a call with them right away. That'll completely eliminate even having to book an appointment with the person. But for this example, we'll assume we couldn't get that right away appointment or the same day appointment. We'll book them in for the next day and that's fine. In this video, we'll cover everything we need to do to get them to show up for that next day appointment. But as you book them three days, five days, seven days out, the chances of them showing up for that appointment decrease significantly over time. So basically, I'm gonna give the two call close. Hey, would either later today or tomorrow work better? This is if I'm cold calling, right? You can do the same thing if you're DMing people or emailing people, um, but would either later today or tomorrow work better? Tomorrow, okay, great. Would morning or afternoon work better? Afternoon, okay, how does um, you know three or 3.30 sound? Three, okay, awesome. We'll book you in for 3 p.m. tomorrow. And then I'm filling in this information for them. So I'm gonna put in the person's first name, or sorry, their full name, their email, their phone number, the type of business they are. So I work with multiple different types of businesses. So right here, if it's a you know plumber, I'll put in plumber. And this is important because this is going to be included in our follow-up texts and emails before the appointment starts, our reminder texts and emails. And so we need to make sure to put in the proper niche here so we can customize those texts and emails that we're going to send to this client before the appointment starts, just to make it look like a more personalized message. And then um, the appointment setter's name, that's if me or one of my guys is cold calling, they'll put in their name there. And then any notes we should know about the appointment so we can be ready and prepared for that call. We'll schedule the meeting. Something to note when you're booking the appointment on your end, make sure they're adding it to their calendar. So a way that you could say this is, hey, while I'm booking this on my calendar, go ahead and book it on whatever calendar you use so that we both have it set in stone. When the prospect also has the appointment booked on their own calendar, the chances of them showing up are significantly higher. And when we schedule that meeting, this is when our automation triggers off. So we've created this appointment automation. It's triggered by an appointment being booked, and so once that appointment is booked, it'll remove this person from any other automations we have them in, which most times we don't, but just in case, we'll assign this to a user. For, my, for me and my business, it's myself as the closer. And then we'll update and put a tag on the person, an appointment book tag. We'll then create an opportunity and add them to our appointment book stage in our web juice pipeline. And then from there, we will send an internal notification to myself um, if one of my guys books this appointment for me, I wanna know and be notified when these appointments are booked. So this will send an internal text message that'll say, you know, John Smith has booked a web juice appointment for Monday, 3 p.m. Here's his phone number, his email, and his niche that he's in. Uh, for this case, you know, it'd be plumber or car detailer, whatever the niche of uh, this of his business. And then we have the first actual message that sends out to our client, which is a confirmation email after they've booked. This is sending right away. As you notice, there's no wait steps in between booking and when this email sends out. And so this email will literally send to the prospect like right away as soon as we book that appointment in. And this is what it will say. The from name is our location. So it'll be Webjuice, 
The from email is gonna be our location email, which is info at webjuice.io. And then the subject line, appointment confirmation with Webjuice, just pretty straightforward, nothing crazy here. And then the actual message itself will say, hi, John. So it'll put the person's first name in the message. Got your appointment booked for Monday at appointment start time, so 3 p.m. And then the time zone, Mountain Standard Time. I'm excited to show you the website we put together for your, and then it'll put the niche right there. So from that form we filled out when we booked the appointment, it'll put the niche, so for your plumbing business. Here's our website where you can check out some of our previous work. And then we give them the link to our website so they can check us out. And this just validates that we're a legit company. If you're cold calling or cold emailing or cold DMing, people are very skeptical. They don't want to get scammed. Um, there's a lot of scammers out there. And so we just want to show them that we're a legit company. Anything that we can do to build the trust of our prospect is better for us and it'll up our chances of them showing up for the call the next day. And then we just drop the Zoom link here so they have that. And then we sign off with our first name. So this will say Jasper right here. Give them a couple links so they can add it to their Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar cancel all that good stuff. So that's our first email that we send out. We also send them a text right away, right after we book the appointment with them. You know, hi John, it's gonna say the same thing. Basically got your appointment booked for Monday, 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Excited to show you the website we put together for your plumbing business. Here's the Zoom meeting link and then it signs off Jasper. So basically saying the same thing in the text. This is just right after they booked. Then we have a wait step, which is gonna be two hours before the appointment starts. So we've set that up here that it'll send based on the appointment time. So it'll be two hours before and it'll send this reminder email, which will say the same thing for the from name, from email. The subject line is our meeting is in two hours. And then this one says, hi, John, just a quick reminder that our appointment is in two hours to check out the website we built for you. I also put together an SEO report for your business that you can keep whether you decide to work with us or not. So as time goes on, what I've noticed is people who book an appointment with you little by little, and this happens with me if I book an appointment with a business, I start to question if I wanna to go to that appointment or not. I said yes initially, but I start to get these doubts in my mind, or is this, is this company legit? Are they actually gonna give me something that I'm looking for? And so like a lot of these little things can add up and then you finally just don't show up to the call. And that's what happens with prospects a lot of the time. And so what I did here is I threw in something to make them a little bit more excited. I threw in a bonus, right? I also put together this SEO report for your business that you can keep whether you decide to work with us or not. So I'm also, again, saying, hey, if you decide to work with us or not, we're still gonna give you free value. And so it'd be beneficial for you to jump on this call, even if we don't end up working together. So just having these different things to hype people up for the call, little free things you can throw in and let them know about will up your chances significantly that they show up. Again, we're gonna paste the Zoom meeting link so they have that and then sign off with our name. The text message is gonna say the same thing. This should say two hour rem reminder text right here. And then we're gonna say, hi contact, first name. So hi John, just quick reminder about our appointment in two hours to check out the website we built for you. So that's the first thing to get them interested, right? We've already built you a website. That's our first initial outreach that I use for my agency, built you this website. Um, again, we're gonna talk about that SEO report, whether they wanna work with us or not, they can have this free report to help them with the SEO of their business and get them ranked higher. And then, um, you know, here's the Zoom meeting link to join, blah, 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 same kind of message. And then lastly, we're gonna wait five minutes before the appointment starts. So we've got this five minute wait step before the appointment. And then we're gonna send an internal notification to our team or to me as the closer that says, you know, the appointment's ready to start in five minutes. Here's their phone number, their email, their niche, just so I can prep myself for the call. And then we send them a text. And this text says, see you in five minutes, John, whatever the person's first name is and then the Zoom link and then paste that in. Just something really simple, just so they have it in case they lost it in their other text messages or their emails. And uh, right, you know, five minutes before the call and just saying, hey, you know, see you in a few minutes. This is the sequence that I found works the best to get people to actually show up for calls. In the past, I've tried adding more text and more emails in between like one uh, 24 hours before, another one a couple hours before, another one an hour before. And you don't want to overkill it. You don't want to send too many reminder texts and emails. I found this is a good balance. And the messaging I use in the script of the email and the text message 
is perfect. It gets them excited for the call. It's very low pressure. We're saying, hey, if you wanna work with us or not, we're still gonna give you free value. We're gonna show you that website we built for you, get you excited and give you that free SEO report. All these little things added together will significantly up your chances of them actually getting on that call. And that's the whole process of getting clients to actually show up to the calls that they book with you. If you haven't started using Go High Level yet, you can get a 30 day free trial of it down below this video. And if you sign up with that link, I'll give you this automation for free in a snapshot so you can just plug it into your business and get people to show up for your appointments. And if you're looking to start your agency, you can get my free website SaaS masterclass where I show you how to do this entire business model model of building websites and selling the software along with the websites making monthly recurring income. Other than that, I appreciate y'all watching this video. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.